let's talk you and I let's talk let's think and let's think with our heart not our head why do I say that the mind can be manipulated easily the heart not so much so let's talk you and I what are we going to talk about today domination Who's in charge? Is your government in charge? Yes. Do you elect your government? No. No, the truth is you do not. You're always given a choice between this and this, and both of them are picked from somebody up here. They argue between themselves. You think you go a direction, you don't go that direction. They both go the same direction, like a pyramid. Who at the top of the pyramid? Sadly, the bank stars, the money, they're all bought and paid for. I can only speak for America, what I see, but I know it's the same world over. No matter where you live, it's the same thing. And you all know it in your heart. People say, there's a great revolution coming. We must fight, take up arms. I talked to a man yesterday, he's a Greek. He says, you will have to decide. You will have to take up arms, you will have to fight. I say, no, no. All I have to do is simply be me. Be in my heart and know that killing is wrong. See, once you go down that slippery slope, of harm to another being even if you feel they deserve it or not it does not matter you become that tool they use against each other you become that anger that darkness I say let it go there's no need for it live in love now you say that's not going to change anything ah but it will I do not say bow your head and do as you're told. I say stand proud, speak from your heart always. When they tell you, uh, like in America, they tell you, you must prepare for war against Iran. <laughs> they're your enemy, they're going to kill you, okay? It's a bullshit. They just want you to be their puppet on a string. endless wars country versus country part of the problem everybody say okay well we are us in in let's say uh, Greece okay did this man say to me I'm a Greek I have to preserve my way of life in America you have conservatism what are they conserving that is worth conserving can you not just be people We are all just people, each our own sovereign. We can interact together just as well. People say, well, if there would be chaos if you did that, there would be nothing without the government. Well, you've got two options as I see it. Either break from the money, I'm going to use America as an example, okay? Break from the money, get rid of the lobbyists, Get rid of the paid-for politicians. Get rid of the multi-millionaires in office. Their greed. Influence what they do. Directly and indirectly. Get rid of it. Refuse to vote for them. Refuse to take the actions. When you watch Fox News and it tells you, and it says the buzzwords of hate. People did not want to fight anymore. They realized they had been lied to in Iraq, but they have the buzzword of hate, cut and run. We talked about this other video, okay? Cut and run like you coward if you don't want to kill somebody. I say no. The coward is the man who goes and kills somebody because he's afraid he live in fear. Don't live in fear. 
remember always you are an eternal spirit having a very temporary physical human existence you're not a human trying to have a spiritual experience always be the spiritual you that you eternally are not the little gnat of existence that you're experiencing now now why is that important how do I do that easy follow your heart your heart knows it's wrong to kill someone don't join their armies if you're in their armies bite the bullet Sam and stop say hey the best way I can save a life is not to take one right I not do it anymore you want to make me a cook make me a cook but I refuse to take up arms against another man go to your chaplain and tell him I will no longer be a part of fighting if they have to send you to jail then go to jail I would rather rot in a prison than raise my hand I would rather die a pacifist than live one moment as a murderer think about it in your heart you know it's true now you say you sound so angry it's not angry it's passion because the change is coming and it is here today you today as you watch this video can decide it is your choice always your choice do you want to be on the side they want to oppress rule over somebody have great riches while other people live in poverty and starve and die is that what you wish for yourself I think you all better than that people are not bad they're told to do bad things by people who are dark let go of that darkness start small start small live in love give love to your neighbors give love to your friends always you see a man who's walking around with their face like this and he's all uh, uh, and he feels bad take a moment talk to him cheer him up let him know life is a choice always a choice no matter what is going on you can choose how you feel about it if you're having a tough time in your life you can choose to let it hold you down depress you and make you feel weak and powerless or you can view it as a challenge and have a lion in your heart passion for love and stand up against it I've done it many times and I will continue to do so until my last breath that is a life well spent and search your heart you know it's true some call me father indigo to people who know me better I'm Quay Abelageo or just Quay but regardless of the name my history my origin listen to the message and weigh it in your heart <coughs> the heart will not lie to you the people in Iran don't want to kill you they don't want to go to war they're praying and let's talk about praying it's not Christian versus Muslim or any religion versus another religion religion is only a defined pathway to God but all paths go to God for God made all of us we are all one in unity so stop tearing at your brother's heart you think I live uh, let's say Sweden Greece America okay I, I am currently in America so I use it as example we must preserve the American way of life really indefinite detention legalized torture 
leaders bought and paid for by those with money, you have no vote. And even if you did have a vote, they run the machines that count them. So you have no say in your own future. Is that freedom? You look at the police atrocities. It's getting worse and worse and worse because they feel empowered to do so. They are not punished for their crime. You look at corporatism, corporate crime. Morgan Stanley, still, and this is, you can look it up, $300 million in direct fraud. What is the outcome of this when they're caught? They pay a $4.5 million fine. They themselves profited, I think it was $21 million. So they turned to profit even though they knowingly broke the laws, got caught, and still turned a huge profit when the laws punish those who do so by holding them accountable and putting them in jail, it's stop. When the laws make the penalty more than they can profit, it stops. They say, how do we get these laws enacted if they own the politicians? There you go. You have to stand. Don't vote for those main party politicians. And I'll tell you something about voting too. There's a big movement here where I am to disenfranchise. Do not allow the vote of Latinos, blacks, minorities. <laughs> you want to get around that? It's a no-brainer. Everybody, everybody register as a Republican. And then vote whatever you want in your heart, Republican or Democrat. If you feel you must do one of those two. I prefer a third party. People not influenced by their party money who echo words of bullshit called buzzwords, job creators, this, that, the others, keep you all confused. Realize they are here, it is being ran from there. You do not need to be ran like cattle. You do not need to live like sheep. Be a human being. Stand up. Declare yourself free first in your heart. I do not advocate violence. I never will. Because that is a part of their system. Not the system that should be. Passion in your heart, yes. Violence, never. I talk to the policeman. I say, hello, policeman. I'm not against you. You serve a function in this society, but do that function. Protect and serve. Stop tasing old ladies and children. Stop pepper spraying children who stand and peacefully say, we want our rights. We want peace. You know it's not right. You, I, some policemen, they get so carried into it, they're carried off. They look for just a little excuse to kill someone. A man in New York, just recently, surrounded by 10 policemen. He had a knife in his pocket. The people in the crowd saying, they're going to kill him, they're going to kill him. He knew they were going to kill them. The people around knew they were going to kill him and the police knew they were going to kill him. Everybody knew this was an execution. And it was. They could have easily detained him, protect and serve. You believe in justice, you let the court handle that justice. Not your gun in your hand and your holster. You are not God. I shine a light like a laser beam of truth upon it. Another, just, just recently, a young man, 21 years old, hands cuffed behind his back, searched twice for weapons because he had drugs on him, in the back seat of a police car, shot in the head. They claim he shot himself in the head. With his hands handcuffed behind him. 
and no weapon. Don't stand for it. When that happens in your town, you go to your mayor. You go to the people who are in authority. And you tell them you want justice for that slain man. Accountability, responsibility for one's actions. The day that everybody make those people who stand above you and dictate down responsible for what they do, what they do change. I bet you. You don't give a policeman seven months administrative leave paid vacation. If he shoots somebody, he have to have good reason. It has to be justified and not by them themselves. Always must go to court. And if found unjust shooting, they have to go to prison. Just for murder like everybody else. Accountability and justice can be had, but you must speak for it first, and it must always come from the heart, not from anger, passion, outrage, turn it into passion and response of justice without group. There is no America exceptionalism. We are better than everybody else. Bullshit. How great you are, sitting there letting all of this happen. How great. Refuse. Stand up. Occupy if you must. Be heard. But always live in your heart. Always live with love, compassion for that man, the other man that's not you, is you. We all one. So you choose. You choose. Bow your head, grab a gun and go kill because you're told to. Believe that people want to kill you that don't. Believe the mass media or believe your heart. Your heart will not lie to you, my friend. Thank you.